Google Maps. Just finished the worst drive ever. The worst drive because I am exhausted. I am max exhausted. Daniel's got food poisoning. So we're probably not going to make the lake again today. We're going to find a place to crash, rest up, recuperate, work. We love to work. And then make the climb tomorrow morning. So! Ah! Stretch in. Wow, right? When we get on the pavement, we're back off the pavement. Look, there's a little patch right there. What did I say day one? Peru sucks. Worst roads in on the continent. See this? This is what we want in the background. I know I'm not supposed to wear sunglasses on camera, but I'm tired. I'm exhausted. There's a point where we woke up on this drive and I was ready to kill myself. Not kill myself, but I was ready to quit. So many times. Especially when everybody around you is in shambles. We had to go find Daniel now, pick him up. He's getting bread. Poor kid's got food poisoning. But, uh, hopefully an hour left or... Uh, two hours. Probably two hours. Let's go with an hour for now, though. Makes me feel better. Make us feel better. Yeah. And now we're a day behind schedule, so... I put a day window in there for everybody, so hopefully... Uh, shouldn't impede our progress, success, podcast, meetups, at all. Normally, I don't get this perspective when driving, but today, I'm sitting in the Patrick seat down. <laughs> Truly terrifying. Breathtaking because it's terrifying. <laughs> How much was it? 500 solas. What? Yeah, we found one on 500 solas. Hey, what you? Are you kidding me? Oh? Huh? Yeah, no. It's cheap. You guys, I'm staying here and I'm gonna be a tuk tuk driver. But hey, we got a lot more places to buy a tuk tuk and pull that off. Such as the market here in Capaz. It's supposed to be an incredible market in the Peruvian mountains. What do we know about this market? Caraz, I can right? tell you. We're here in Caraz, in the Anjas region of Middle Peru. So we could get our way to Laguna 69. Where everybody's a winner. That's right. It's a sexual lake, let me tell you. Today, we're going to be exploring the markets of Caraz. Yeah, you got a Caraz. I'll take out this one. 
Do the same. Egg See. Uh, this one's brown. Solo Ultra. Ultra? No. Uh, you're losing a customer. I think it's dumb. Probably a mixture of both. So for my stomach problems, we're here at the pharmacy in Caras. And I'm getting something that hopefully will alleviate the symptoms. But the thing about buying from pharmacies in foreign countries in the mountains, 8,000 8, 8, feet high, is that you just don't know what you're going to get. Wish me luck. Really sick. Just spent like 30 minutes in a bathroom in this place called Karaz. I don't think I've been getting nutrients for a few days. Um, feeling depleted. Hopefully Brandon can find me. I walk around looking. It's such a nice day, so I'm just gonna take a seat. Yenge. Yenge is a stop right near the Juan Chicho Mountains. A few hours from Juaraz so that we can get to Laguna 69 to so sleep in here. I've been laying in bed and I'm trying to do everything I can to feel better. So I'm going to explore the center of town so I can find a pharmacy and uh, get some meds. Actually, I already got meds. I need electrolytes. So, no, por favor. You're the same person I was just at in the other pharmacy in the other city. I thought I was losing my mind. Come, tengo preguntas. Necesito electrolytes. Yeah. Yes. Pedialyte. I seen a sucker. Just finally got to the lake. Well, the pre lake. Bus parked, took a wrong turn, but we got in and we're starting our hike now. Hopefully it's not too late. The drive's been beautiful and hopefully- Looks like we still beat everyone in. Defining new colors today. Oh, hiking this beautiful trail to Laguna 69. I don't know where Daniel and Brandon are. I could tell right when we parked that it was gonna take Daniel like 30 minutes at least to get going. So I left. I've already waited for them for 20 minutes once, but they're on their own now. I see that. And no maps in sight. Don't know where he is. Hopefully we're following the right trail. If not, get fucked. I am enjoying this shit. It is so beautiful. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. After two hours of hard searching, we found the trail. 
only took a few wrong turns, wrong bridges, wrong water jumps to get there. Lost a pair of socks. We found all the cows that have been shitting all over the place. Look at that pup. Ooh, it's a good pup. Amazing views everywhere. I love it. It's the best day of this trip, bar none already, and it's only 10 a.m. About a third of the way through our walk, Lugan is 69. We have no clue where Max is. Hopefully he's bathing somewhere in the deep, dark blue abyss. Actually, it's pretty bright. He's a hermit, so it's, it's all good. He loves to be on his own, so it's just a matter of, is he already on his way back? Is he already finished? Well, we officially made it to the top, well ahead of Brandon. Daniel turned around long ago. I've been creeping on them from high up above them. Probably about 20 more minutes or so before Brandon gets here. It's not that we found the lake, it's that we found Max. There he is! But it's not a real 69 because he's got no one on top, folks. This is how you do not 69. This is a false 69. Ugh. It's too tired to even let you know where we were, how we got here. Got here and just slept right on the mat right here. Found Max. Max looks frostbitten. Max's face looks pale and white. I imagine mine looks the same. I can't imagine Daniel's doing any better. <laughs> and not even all the way up here. So we're going to head back down. Also because we're the last ones up here. Nightfall's approaching. And uh, it's getting cold. How do you feel being up this high, Mr. Cow? He's quite rude. He's going after all these little yellow flowers. They're tasty. So we have two minutes left in the camera. We'll give you a quick recap. One didn't make it up to the top. He made it pretty far for a guy with food poisoning. And now he claims that all these cows are attacking him. And I believe it. This cow just came at Max. The cows are all mean looking bum. Long day. Got off to a late start. But it was all worth it. I mean, my feet are bloody and bleeding. B-roll shot, you can check that out. Our heads are still compressed, even though we came down from 16,000, 15,000 feet. We're about 13 now, and my head's still is shrinking. Blum tried to climb after food poisoning. He's hurting right now. He also got chased by cows, which is actually the highlight of my day. He didn't want to talk about it, but it was really funny. He was hiding up on a rock away from these cows. One, I give it to his defense, one cow was did have it out for him. Max, you can vouch for that one? It, he was mean mugging hard. Well, I mean, there, it, unless I threw a rock at that cow, that cow wasn't, wasn't let Daniel out. <laughs> but we're not driving to Lima tonight. <laughs> Executive decision. We are going to go to Juarez, get a huge meal. Uh-huh. Call it a night. Start early tomorrow for Lima. I'm just excited for the supposedly good roads on this 404 kilometer drive to Lima. 10 hours, quick drive, a lot of work to do, always more work to be done, and hopefully we're going to enjoy ourselves a little more. See you in Lima. See you in Lima. Facts.
The roads in the middle of nowhere are always better. Facts. Peruvians don't know what to do with their trash, so they leave it on the side of the road. Facts. Cheese is better in Chocha Pocha. <laughs> <laughs> we are told you had to leave, but that's what we're going for. The truck comes in and yeah, you can't hear time. anything on the bike! Perfect. Last one's perfect. That was the best. That best one. Still a long yellow or do we just go? I don't know. Like we're going. It's happening. This is a... That's it. I like I like your style. Oh, good. They have Nesquik here. It's got fucking Mountain Rasta here, dude. We're on the beach now. You can't be Mountain Rasta anymore. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, he's popping his ears. <laughs> we we changed ten thousand feet today. Ten thousand feet, three different ecosystems, mountains, jungles. Now we're in the desert with a little bit of coastline. We got our bus tight, tight squeeze. Hitchhiker hostel for being in downtown Lee. Not downtown Lee, but we're Mir Flora, one of the very popular districts out here. I can't believe she fits. It was a tough squeeze, but happy to be here. Happy to be back in Mir Flora. I got a lot of flashbacks when I drove back in here. I know these guys are really enjoy the city. It's lots of, it's the best. A lot of shit to do, a lot of work to do. I gotta make a phone call. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see how we made it this far on our journey, check out one of the other playlists on the sidebar, or click the subscribe button below to keep watching our journey. Now come get on the bus with us.